Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Vanin and you have uh, joined me today on something that's not ARK. <clears throat> something a bit different. Um, this is Satisfactory. Uh, this is a kind of a, a spacey survival buildery figure out how to do stuff type of a game. Um, I've only played it a little bit. Not a huge amount. Um, I uh, played on a server that i hosted with a few of my uh few of my friends um and kind of fell in love with the game to be honest so i thought i would um do some videos on it um and you know document me having a play about with it so um um let's jump in um forest that seems pretty good We'll go there. So. Ooh, we're in space. Attention Pioneer. The following instructional video is a summary of your impending duties as an exoplanetary pioneer for Fixit Incorporated. Uh, fix it. <laughs> fix it pioneers have three cyclical assigned pillars of work to ultimately accomplish project assembly. Use provided blueprints to build the necessary buildings. Chart the planet and gather resources to provide desired results and improve your infrastructure. Make sure to report any unusual discoveries to R&D for analysis. Expand your factories, outposts, and pipelines through automation and augmentation. That's it. Get to work and be effective. Right on it. Planetfall imminent. Please remain seated during full procedure. Not sure I have much of a choice about that. Seems to be a bit of a rattle. I presume they mean space suit. Remember, efficiency first. Godspeed. Welcome to Planet Massage 2 ABB, your designated sector in the binary star system of Akija. I am Ada, also known as Artificial Directory and Assistant, tasked to support pioneers, such as you, in their mission. You are the third of your sector to survive Planetfall. Congratulations. Note. Objective-based introduction initialized. Welcome to Onboarding. First objective. Please dismantle the drop pod. The resulting materials will be repurposed to construct a habitat and utility base from now on referred to as the hub. Note, fix it incorporated as cost effective and efficient. We do not waste. All important fix it data and communication is recorded and stored in the codex, including these steps. So, what's this? Uh, press O for the codex. Okay. 
So you've got tutorials in there, you've got an inbox and recipes for stuff, so like parts, equipment, your Xeno Zapper, and all that. Second objective. <clears throat> Please ensure you have your Fixit Incorporated Xeno Zapper equipped before leaving the drop zone. No. According to Fixit regulations, every pioneer should have access to a means of defense against extraterrestrial threats. We have our Xeno Zapper. Objective. Please familiarize yourself with the resource scanner to find iron. Note. The acquisition of iron is considered essential in preparation for all future objectives. We send out this pulse thing and then so we've got iron in this located in this direction over here and iron that way and that way but this way is considerably closer so you can see down in the bottom right hand corner we've got like some uh shortcuts uh, so you got F, uh, V, we've got tab, which is takes us in, into our inventory. Um, and from what I remember, we do, um, we do actually um, get more bits and pieces as we progress on in the game. So over on the left here, you've got find and collect iron ore. So hold V, scan for nodes, uh, location of scanned resources, blah, 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 blah. And then once we find it, we hold E and then we whack things. But as you can see up the top there, we have uh, like a compass. Um, it is only first person. There, there isn't a an option for like a third person. So you can't see what you look like, but... Uh, having played this uh, online with some buddies, I know for a fact that uh, you all look the same. Well, that to me looks like a metal node of some sort. And we've got some other stuff down there, so let us... Go down. Now there are um like things that will try and eat your face in this game. Uh, not very many of from what I've uh, from what I remember. But there are some things that will try and munch on your face. Okay. So it looks like through here we have uh, some iron. Well, looks like we've got iron there, iron there. Think iron there, and then that might be copper over there, and then you got something up there. I wonder if you can get to that up there as well. You can. What are these? Oh, bad things. Okay. 
I'm being surrounded by bugs. Some description. Oh, limestone. I imagine we're going to need that in the future. Uh, oh, that does look cool. Look at that. That looks awesome. And we've got some kind of crash thing down there. And ooh, looks like we've got some other stuff down there. And more... You know what? This game is rather stunning. Right. We're getting sidetracked by things looking awesome. Right. So. We have iron over there and we have iron here. So let's... Okay. So we've got the iron ore. Now what do we do? Fourth objective, build the hub. Note, to complete this objective, the resources salvaged from the drop pod will be consumed. Caution, ensure the hub is built on spacious open terrain close to the presence of iron sources. Failure to do so will likely result in non-optimal progress. So we need flat ground, essentially. What's she saying? Hmm. We've got even more iron. Nice. We have all the iron ore. Right. So. Q. Bob. So you can use your mouse wheel to scroll about. Why not? Stick that there. Congratulations, you have unlocked. Hub feature, manual craft bench. Hub feature, hub terminal. Fifth objective, complete hub upgrade one. Note, the craft bench and hub terminal are essential for progression to the next objective. Iron ingots. Okay. So if you like press spacebar twice and it does it like as an as an automatic. Okay, cool. So 
So we can make other things, iron plates and iron rods. From what we have there. And hub upgrade one. So we need 10 iron rods. Okay. Okay, we have some storage. Congratulations. You have unlocked building workshop equipment portable miner inventory additional slots hub feature personal storage. Sixth objective <laughs> complete hub upgrade to note portable miners require no power and will mine a node until their inventory is full. Note multiple portable miners can be used on a single node. Okay. I don't have anything in my inventory. Uh, what do I need to do to do this? So I need 20 rods and 10 iron plates. So how do I make that? Congratulations. You have unlocked hub feature biomass burner, scanner feature copper, new buildings and recipes which can be found in the build menu and craft bench respectively. Seventh objective, complete hub upgrade three. Note, connect buildings to a biomass burner for power. Note, buildings such as the smelter require a recipe to be set. Advice. Automate the smelting process and use portable miners for optimal results. So, Q. Can be automated by feeding ore into it with a conveyor belt. Okay. Crafting bench, equipment workshop. I need more iron which we have and we've got more bad guys What is that? It's like a giant tick mixed with like a giraffe or something. Oh, are they bugs? They're not glowing. Oh, nuts. 
So as you can see, I kind of have an idea of what's going on. The guys I was uh, I played with for like a, a day or so, uh, they knew considerably more, and I didn't do a lot to be honest. But very much enjoyed the game. Um, and it's one of the it's one of those games that when other people unlock stuff, uh, you learn it as well. So that's why I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. I have an idea of kind of how the game works, um, but I also don't. <laughs> if that makes sense. It, you better run. Right. Uh, Q. Uh, nope. I still need to turn all of that into stuff, don't I? Um. Yeah. So. Turn that into ingots and then turn it into plates and rods. I can't remember how many of what I need now. Damn it. I reckon that other one is copper because then you can make the wire and the cable. So further around the corner there. Okay, cool. Cool. I see where we're going here. Really? Do you want tech, dude? Crafting bench allows you to craft a large range of different parts, construction of different factory buildings, vehicles, and equipment. Used to manually craft equipment. Right, let's do the. I don't want that. Uh, I am plate. either uh, yeah you seem like the same as that there so maybe I don't need you don't have enough stuff okay more stuff Equipment workshop. Ah, uh, portable miner. That's what we want. Uh, so I need more plates because I've got, what, well, um, one, two, three, four things. Is he like stuck on something?
Ah. Killed him. Does he have bits? Doesn't have bits. Okay. He's bitless. I could have come back further. Never mind. Right. Uh, plates. Need plates. Let's make more plates. Is that all the plates we can make? Apparently so. Right. I can make three of these then. about the ah there we go sweet that's cool that is cool i will give it that now they said or she said that you could put multiple on on one okay cool and we can open it okay cool and you can pick up the miner Oh, there's the... So, iron ore, 80 per minute. Okay. Oh, wow. That was a fair old lick, doesn't it? Alright, what else do we... Uh... What else can we make? Smelter. So, I need copper wire for the smelter. So, whilst they're doing their thing... That looks like oh, that more of them nuts. So consumable can be eaten to restore half a health segment. Okay. Sweet. Nice. Um, um, we need our zap thing. There we go. We have zappage. Ah, more bad guys. Just as well we ate the nuts. Okay. Nice. We've got some copper. I'm guessing we have to turn the copper into copper ingots and then the copper ingots into copper wire that makes sense okay 
Okay. So then we can make the wire. And then we can do the smelter, which the smelter will then do the job of smelting, which makes sense. But imagine we're going to need cable because it said that we need to be able to do power. So I'm guessing. Um, what's this? Insert fuel. Primarily used as fuel. Used as crafting. Used as fuel. Cool. Okay. Maybe we need to connect it to something. Can't afford. Uh, what do we need? Ah, oh, we need more. So we need more copper. If we go back and go and get more copper. Oh, that's why we used up the copper wire for the to make the cable. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Okay. My bad. Should be enough. But at least it doesn't go pitch black at night time. Well, that's a, that's the thing. Why why aren't you guys uh oh, full? Okay. So these things hold a hundred each. Okay. Well, cool. So, copper... And then we can make the wire... And... Then we can make a smell... Ah, oh, damn it, we need the tube things. Rodage. We need more than that. It's quite cool though that you can just like switch between the different things to um to start crafting. That is cool. Smelter. Woohoo. I have a smelter. I'm gonna stick this where? Here? Oh no. Power. Okay, so that's doing a thing. Uh, 
But how do we... Oh, wow, these things like churn out. What can we make in here? Still only the those things there. So I think we need to dive headfirst into that. Upgrade three. What's this? Constructor. Power pole, concrete screws, reinforce, so... Okay. That. So what do we need? Ten more wire and eight of that, and then we'll be good. So, iron plate, we need to make this stuff first. Okay, so I think these guys have seen me craft enough of these bits and pieces, so I'll bring you back when we're ready to move on to the next step. Okay, so that didn't take long at all. Um, and we're going to upgrade the hub. Okay. So Congratulations. You have unlocked thanks. scanner feature, limestone. New buildings and recipes, which can be found in the build menu and craft bench, respectively. Eighth objective, complete hub upgrade four. Note, use power poles to expand the power network for optimal results. Okay. Concrete. Oh, that's what the limestone's for. Ah, concrete. Let's see. So that. I need cable. Okay, so I need two more cable and I need a load of things. Okay, cool. I shall bring these back in a minute when I've crafted all of that. Congratulations. You have unlocked building, conveyor belts, and poles. Inventory, additional slots. Ninth objective, complete hub upgrade five. Note, portable miners cannot be connected to conveyor belts. Advice, when planning the construction of buildings, note the placement of conveyor belts. So I forgot to press the uh, record button when I uh, uh, hit that milestone. Um, but uh, next one looks like is for the miners. So uh, rods, concrete, so we'll accept that. We can put some concrete in. We can put that in. We don't have any rods yet, but we've got loads of stuff to make rods. Um, so that then makes sense as to this. So I don't actually need this, do I? Right now. So I'll get rid of that. Um, and then we can make miners instead of these things and then the miners have the ability to go with the conveyor belts into the smelters and also i think there was storage on um and that other thing milestone yeah storage container so that we can then do some kind of storage Okay, cool. Well, I've just seen how long the uh, first clip was before I kind of like uh, cut. So I think we'll call that an episode. Um, but we have done a huge amount. We have got a hub up and running. Uh, we've got that thing there, which is a workshoppy thing that I'm sure it does stuff in the future, but right now we can only make miners and zappy things. Um, we made some portable doofers. Um, and we found loads of stuff. You can really tell I know exactly what I'm doing here. Um, so yeah, 
uh next time i think we will get our miners going and our smelters going and yeah be proper grown-up sag satisfactory type persons yeah cool i shall see you guys in the next one